guys, guys, the Spurs dodged an absolute bullet. They dodged an absolute bullet. Uh, what the heck is this? What the, what? Why did they do this? What? Okay, so the Utah Jazz, you guys know they've been playing hardball with the Warriors and the Spurs and other teams that have inquired about um, Lowry, Lowry uh, marketing. And it got to a point, it got so exhausting with us going over news that I just got to a point where I said, you know what? I don't even care anymore. Just just do whatever you want, Jazz. I don't want them anymore. I was excited at first. Now I do not care. Uh, and the reason being is because they were asking us for so much, so much. I, I, I'm pretty sure they might have asked for Jeremy Sohan initially, but they asked for Devin Fassell and Keldon and multiple picks. On in what universe would the Spurs give you Devin Fassell and multiple picks? The Jazz don't know what they want to do. It seems like they want to just go ahead and go into win now mode. But then again, we also heard that they potentially want to try to go after Cooper Flag. I have no idea. I guess they'll just sit all of their players. I don't know what they're thinking. This, but they just gave Lowry Markkinen a five-year, $238 million contract. Did you hear what I just said? That, that's insane. And the reason why I'm saying that's insane, because some people tried to explain to me like, oh, well, Clan, they did that because, you know, they, they had to hold on to him or, you know, it's not that crazy. No, it really shows, it really shows why they were willing to go to bat for this, why they were so adamant that we had to give up everything like it's insane it's insane they wanted to give up everything they wanted us to give up everything i'm surprised they didn't ask for pop and the coyote and us i'm surprised i didn't get traded i wasn't in trade talks like what is this it's crazy man it's crazy the jazz were too high. i have no idea just know that we dodged a bullet okay the spurs did not bite they didn't give them anything. The only thing the Spurs were willing to probably give was Keldon and a few uh, future picks. Probably none of the 2025s. Maybe the Charlotte Hornets, which we're going to... We got to talk about that. We got to talk about the Bulls one too, because that's some good news. But overall, there's nothing. There's nothing I would have gave up. Clan is untouchable with Fasel and Wimby. I'm untouchable with Fasel, Wimby, and Sohan, mind you. There's no one on the market right now that I will be willing. Now, obviously, I said this before. If you give me a hypothetical, like what you just wouldn't trade, no one's untradeable. So you wouldn't trade Sohan for Luka Doncic? Of course I would trade Sohan for Luka Doncic. But there's no one that's available right now that's worth even flirting with the fact that we could trade, trade them clan the jazz fan no I, i'm just look it doesn't hurt us that the jazz are doing whatever but it just shows that they wasted our time look i'm not in the office okay i'm not on these phone calls all right but i do feel bad for brian Wright. all right we we need to come together as a unit and at least you know get, get t tell them it's gonna be okay all right no Brian Wright hate for at least a couple months. He needs it. He deserves it. Because it was non-stop talking, negotiating with the Jazz for them to just continuously tell us, oh, yeah, actually, we want more. Actually, no, that's not good. And actually, actually, can you just give us, like, Wimby? I don't know who they think Lowry Marketing is. Danny Ainge Green made GMs avoid that unfair trade. It's another... It, this is just another example that we need to come together, all right? And we need to all say in unison that the Spurs have a good GM. We have a good GM. I know it's hard. I know it's hard to bite that bullet. But after what the Jazz just tried to pull, in which they wanted Devin Fassell, 
Jeremy Sohan. Well, Jeremy Sohan earlier, but they wanted Devin Fassell and they wanted Keldon. And they wanted multiple first round picks. They just wanted everything. And then the Warriors, they, they, good God, the poor Warriors, all this bullet is dodged. I am glad we did not do it. This is why you just kind of wait, build from the ground up and do what you got to do. Cause the, these types of deals are, are heinous. And we also need to just agree that Brian Wright is good GM. Terrible. Terrible. Let's see. With the new cap uh, space coming in a few years, this isn't a bad deal. Uh, not a good con contract, but not bad. Glad we didn't get him. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> look. I'm spoiled, okay? Because I've been watching what the Spurs have been doing with their contracts, and it's been insane. <laughs> like, like our deals are are in, insane. And I, in my opinion, I think that that's great management, right? I know that the price uh, and, and players are, you know, it's going to go up. Obviously, I know that. Uh, but what what the Spurs have been doing, I think, I think we're good. Anyways good news here spurs dodged a bullet um we made sure not to uh get mixed in this in this nonsense because this is what this is what this is this is absolute nonsense i wonder i wonder though let's see this was no i'm not gonna look at this let's go to Woj. because i do wonder what the nba has to say about this oh wait there's more what is this um, this is what Lowry had to say to ESPN. They've all showed their belief in me from the ownership to the front office to Will Hardy, uh, marketing to ESPN. It's a comfortable environment. And those guys resume speak uh, for themselves. I trust in the organization to help grow me as a player or person and a player to build our team. And I'm ready to take on the challenge. Let's see. The extension precludes marketing from being traded for six months, which pushes his past uh, February 6th trade deadline and means he isn't eligible to be moved until next offseason. All right, so this is the, probably the one where everyone would react to it, right? See the initial reactions here. The Warriors seeing Lowry marketing sign an extension in Utah being upset. Yeah. And saying overpay, Warriors sold so hard. So a lot of people wanted the Warriors. The Warriors fans talked so much only to be played. They wanted way too much though. Like, I don't know how you can be angry with the Warriors here. Yep, told you. Lowry is what the Jazz wants in a franchise player. He's tall, he can shoot threes, he can defend. Uh, he's got a high basketball IQ. He's a family man. He's apolitical. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's okay. He's so smart. He's humble and polite. He's hard worker. Summary, he's got Utah Jazz DNA. Whatever. I just saw Warriors fan fall to their knees in Walmart. That's funny. Big contract, but still one of the most underrated players in the NBA. Warriors fans punching air. I, I seriously do feel a little bit bad for them. Not a lot of bad. Not a lot of bad, but a little bad. Warriors fans in shambles. Oh, oh, oh. That might have got me in trouble. What does it mean for the Warriors now? Warriors fans, what happened? Oh, okay, uh, nobody's even bringing us up. They forgot. They totally forgot. Yeah, they asked for the Warriors for everything, man. They like give us everything. I don't see how any of these people can like blame the Warriors though. It's not the Warriors' fault. It, it felt like they didn't have any intention to move them to begin with. Something's gonna tell us that we're gonna be happy we missed out. We're happy now we missed. Do not worry, okay? Do not worry. What they were asking to give him, like, that was superstar level. If it, like, it, for me to give up Keldon and Devin Fassell, 
who Devin Fassell was really good this last season. I mean, at least other teams. If fans don't know, teams know. And then multiple first round picks? Nah, I'm good. I'm good. Oh, thanks for being a member, Zombify. Thanks, man. Glad to be back. Hey, I'm glad for you to be back. So what I miss? Uh, nothing. 